Welcome to the Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer tutorial number 7A. And we left off with getting removing our buttons and I was going to show you how to configure your form settings. So we're going to go up there and there's this funny little icon off to the side. We're going to click on that and up comes this um, window. And it has uh, five tabs up at the top. And the form results. Now here, it, I mean, it pretty well walks you right through it. You know, what do you want to do with the results <laughs> when you collect it from with this form? And you can cl click all of these if you so desire. Uh, email me the results. You can save it to a text file or you can send it to MySQL, your database. So, and you can add it to, um, just like your regular email, you could add it to there. Oops, I can't type. MySite.com. Okay. Or whatever. All right. So then uh, we're going to go to form submission. And here it asks you several things. Um, after your, the form is submitted, do one of the following. Do you want to create a custom page? Uh, which you can actually scroll through here and kind of sort of read. Um, thank you for your form submission, blah, 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 which is kind of nice. So we're going to just say OK. And we're just going to leave that ticked. Otherwise, you just send them to a, redirect them. You can send them back to your uh, index page if you, if you want to or, or whatever. OK. So then we're going to skip the advanced because that's a little more. The tab order, you can change these, um, which are right down here, your buttons, um, or your um, actually your name, address, subject, your message. You can move them up or down. However, you, you know you can play with those, move them anywhere you want to by using the up and down uh, buttons, which are arrows here. And then file uploads. These are what um, you can allow these when uh, uploading a file from your form. So you can choose those if you so desire. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just going to say OK. And it should be all locked in there. And then it will go to, uh, to that. So now we save it. OK. And we're going to save. And then this comes up. And it's going to ask you, where do you want to save it? And, uh, since I've already done this, um, it's going to go there and it will upload. And then you're going to get this window. Okay. Now, um, uh, there's a couple things here you need to know before you push any of these buttons down here. <laughs> um, these, there's um, eight files here, I think. Well, three, six, oh, there's nine. I beg your pardon. Um, there's, uh, those files are located in this right here, okay? So there's a couple ways you can do it. The easy way, <laughs> you can upload them individually from this uh, location, or the easy way would be to, don't do it yet, <laughs> upload now by using your FTP, which you have uh, set up in your uh, editor program okay but before you upload those you need to come over here to the right where it says HTML copy and paste this code on all the pages that you want this form to appear okay so I mean if you want it on one page or you want it on 20 pages or whatever you can certainly do that if you want you just have to copy this so it's down here you can copy it to the clipboard um, I always like to uh, use my control C after I've highlighted highlighted and drug my mouse over it uh, and then I always open up a, uh, a form a word pad and then I'll paste those in so I will continue on 7 B see you then thank you